In this presentation we're going to look at how data is structured and stored. Now the functions we're going to use are mode, str, which is structure. We're also going to look at one called class as well. I'm going to emphasize mode and structure more, but I will look at class as well. So first off, let's have a look at a data set. So I have a data set here, dat1. Now this is all numeric value. Okay, so let's check out what the mode of dat1 is. Well, it's numeric, which is makes sense, seeing it's as it is a series of numbers. Let's see what how it is structured. So structure str of dat one, again numeric. Now this tells us that it has ten values, and these are the indices of the ten values. And there we have a selection of some of the values. There we actually have all ten in this particular case, but for longer data sets, it would might give the first first few data sets, prefer data values. And uh, let's have a look at class as well. This should be very similar to mode actually. Yeah. In this particular instance for very simple data sets, class and mode are very similar. I have another data set here now, dat2. Now this is, these are names, Oscar, Lulu, Jenny and Sally. These are actually the names of my dogs. Now, I'm going to try out the same thing again. First off I'll try out mode, dat2. Character. These are. This is character data, name data. It's not numeric data. S str. Again, chr. That means character. There's f uh, four values: one, two, three, and four. And here's a sample of some of the names, some of the entries. And um, let's try out class. Again, character. Now, in this particular instance, it was uh, class and mode are very similar to each other. Now I have one more data set here, that tree. Now what we have here is true, false, false, true, true and false. Now you might notice first off that there's no quotation marks around these um, words. These are actually logical values. There are two states, two logical states, true and false. So mode, dat three, there we have it, logical. I'm just going to press down here a second. We have str, that tree, logic, there's six values, and there's a selection, and class. Again, logical. Now, I have a more complex data set here called new data. Now, I'm going to present the first six rows of this new data set only. So, head is just to present the first six rows only. It's actually a much bigger data set. It's 180 rows, but I just wanted to look at the first six. So, you have group, W, X, Y, and Z. Now, let's try out the uh, commands on this data set here, this data structure. So, this is actually mode of this data structure is a list. Now, I'll talk about lists in a separate uh, presentation, but for the time being we can just uh, take from this that, you know, we can use, there are more uh, data types than numeric and logical and character. Structure of new data. So we have a data frame. Now, this is very complex. Uh, output here. So first off, this is structured as a data frame, and again, that's something I will deal with in a future presentation. There's 186 observations with five variables, and we have five, uh, ca information about each of the five variables here. This first variable here is called group. It's actually factor, which is a categorical variable, and it has two levels, A and B. The other uh, variables are all numeric values, like so they're all integer values. INT means integer. And again, this gives us some of the, um, a, a selection of some of the, uh, a representation of some of the data in, inside that, those variables. Now, lastly, we'll have a look at class of new data. Okay, this is actually the class of this, uh, data set is a data frame. Now you might notice that previously mode and class gave us the very same information for 
uh, simple data sets, but this is um, different here from mode. So this the class of this data set is a data frame. Again, I've mentioned it there. And again, uh, it's a data frame is a very useful way of structuring data in R.